Okay. World's easiest URL and Twitter handle to remember. Okay, so first off, happy Catterday to everyone. It is Catterday, so I wanted to make note of that. So everyone loves dependency injection, right? It's so incredibly useful, and we always talk about it and how we can use it to make our code more well factored. Some facts about dependency injection. It'll decouple, if you decouple your code, it'll make it more reusable. Dependency injection is a great way to decouple your code, and dependency injection will make you more attractive to the opposite sex. This is true, and I want to show you why. So for instance, here's an example, right? Uh, we have a dancer class, and uh, we initialize it with a name and a dance style, and then we're going to make the dance style do the dance work for us, uh, and we're going to pass in our name. Right? So, all that we have to do is duct type the, the object that we passed in to, uh, to our, uh, our class whenever we instantiated it to have a dance method. In this case, take stage, cue music, or form steps, stop music. And, uh, let's see here. So, I'm going to actually demo that. <laughs> right, no, not... There will be no dancing. I am not tenderly. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, please. No. However, so the code that you just saw is going to actually run uh, right now. I can show it to you, but it's the same thing you just saw on the slide. So, oh, crap. Hey, look. I need a larger window. <laughs> Hey, live coding. Fun times. Live window resizing. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you know, I am a big fan of 80 columns. I'll tell you about it later, but it's, uh, it's great. So I'm giving away the, like, spoiler already. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, Psy. Psy? PSY? I don't know. I'm not hip enough. I don't know. Right. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's what that is. Wait, wait, wait. There's more. All right. One more thing. So <laughs> the thing about that is we have to know what the uh, dependency is that we're going to do at instantiation time, or we're going to have to add a mutator to our class, right? So do we? Well, no, this is Ruby, so we can do pretty much whatever we want. So um, my big problem with dependency injection is like most of the classes that are dependent on my objects don't know they're dependent on them yet. So I want to let them know. Um, so a brief digression, a while back I tweeted, if you had 50 lines to demonstrate the power of Ruby, which provides grip and capacity for incredible good and terrifying evil, what would you write? And I got like no responses, but I, w I wrote one anyway. Right? So excited. I enjoy it. So, by the way, ignore this slide. It doesn't exist. Okay? Um, so, I would encourage you all to do this. It's fun. Take 50 lines, 80 columns, write whatever you can that shows the power and evil that can be happening. Right. So, injection uh, is what I did. Um, .rb. It's uh, 50 lines and less than or equal to 80 columns. It's... Uh, Build of evil. Um, and so here's the code. Uh, there's a whole lot going on here, but it's a module subclass. Uh, we, insta we instantiate a new instance of something, inject an object into that. Uh, that object then gets delegated to you. We can do some fun things, which I'm going to show you now. Uh, I can go through the code uh, later. Uh, yes, I am. Um, so one of the things you can do with this code is you can do something uh, called a call tracker, for instance, which is just kind of like basically profiling. Um, and you can actually uh, take this method, like basically inject this call tracker into whatever object you want and do some fun things. So we'll show you that. I love pry, so uh, you'll see more, more pry here. So again, we just can see the code there. I have an array. I have a call tracker that got instantiated. 
uh, and now I inject it in there and I give it the method track called on the object, right? So now I can say array. Type in one handed. Awesome. Lots of practice at this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. What? Okay. <laughs> So now I can see all the methods that have been called. I can say, right, uh, that sh certainly doesn't exist. So I see method missing got added and so forth. It works with anything. Um, <coughs> kind of crazy. <coughs> Evil, like I said. <laughs> um, but that's really not what I want to show you because I want to go back to what we did before and show you what this is really useful for. So we can inject gang, uh, Gangnam Style into, into any kind of object. Let's say, the interesting thing about this, did you notice Dancer had a name method? Name reader, right? What else in Ruby has a name reader? Classes have name readers. I think it would be cool to make classes dance. So I'm going to extend this, and I'm going to array dance, and array, <laughs> right, yeah, but, 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 but we're not done, we have one more thing, which is, that's a lot of work, I don't want to do that for everything, so let's just, let's just do this, this seems like a good idea, <laughs> and then, you know, like, let's see, I, it should work. I don't. I haven't tried this. Let's see. Oh ho! No, it doesn't count. You know why? Because Ruby hates me. But Hash does. Hash can dance. So let's let Hash dance. Right? Okay, you get the idea, right? Yeah. I like it. Anyway. Okay. Any any favorite classes that need to dance? Before? Out of morbid curiosity, try to say. Try save? Yeah, if you did say, like save four and then try that. I, I, I would be shocked if it Try was, save four? Uh, dollar sign save. Basically, oh, oh. Uh, on, on anything? Uh, once, you, once you call say like... If you oh, turn it on and then... then yeah, then, then oh. I doubt that that would work. But I don't think... It's pretty, it's pretty well established that safe is not really safe at all, right? So I don't, I don't know. Well, Isn't it just... Is it all? It's all caps, isn't it? Yeah. I don't. You can tell I use it. At least. <laughs> so, say four, four, level four. Yeah, would be the best. Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, I can't. Now it's, here we are. I can't even change the global variable, so. Right. That's make, fun. Make meal dance. Yeah, it killed. No, it killed. It killed me. That's horrible. Why did you have me do that? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm over. That's all I got.